Well, the state agency in charge of making sure that marijuana dispensaries are not selling to kids is not doing its job. That's according to a new state audit. The state auditor says the Marijuana Enforcement Division didn't do underage compliance checks or even inspections for most dispensaries for four years. Our political specialist Sean Boyd first reported on the lax enforcement two years ago. Sean joins us now live from the newsroom and Sean, a parent group actually pushed for this audit. Michael, after learning, some dispensaries were selling to kids who admitted they were underage. The group, Blue, Blue Rising Together, initially pushed for a bill last year that would have required at least one underage sting operation per dispensary per year. But it died in a Senate committee after all but one lawmaker voted against it. At the time, the Marijuana Enforcement Division insisted it was doing its job. But the audit tells another story. It finds 75 percent of dispensaries weren't inspected at all between 2019 and 2022. What's more, the state auditor says of those that were inspected and found in violation of the law, more than 60 percent received a warning only. We don't have compliance checks and we're not certain that these stores are not selling to kids. Our kids are getting a hold of very high potency products that are extremely dangerous and have been shown to be connected to psychosis, to schizophrenia, to depression, to anxiety. Don Reinfeld, head of Blue Rising Together, pushed for the audit along with Senators Chris Hansen and Kevin Priola after an open records request found the Liquor Enforcement Division had done 25 times more underage compliance checks as the Marijuana Enforcement Division in 2020, even though it had half as many full-time employees. The state auditor made a number of recommendations aimed at increasing inspections and compliance going forward. Sean Boyd, covering Colorado First. Oh, okay, Sean, thank you.